I'm here with Zach Pfeffer, our Android tech lead, and we're here at Lenaro Connect Asia 2013, and we're in Hong Kong. Zach, we were here a year ago, and I got to sit down and talk to you. What's changed in a year? Well, a lot of things have changed. In regards to the Android team and, and what you've been working on. Yeah. So, you know, we recently changed up our build program. So we're no longer doing things called Lenaro Engineering Builds, uh, the LEB program. No, evaluation builds. We're now doing evaluation build. Yeah, that's right. Jet, we'll chalk that up build. to jet lag. So we're not doing evaluation builds anymore. We're doing engineering builds. Right. And so the idea is that we refocused our build effort on producing builds that would enable specific groups within Lenaro to make progress on their goals. And so, for example. Our Lenaro evaluation builds, we would mix in a tip toolchain, tip kernel, and tip Android. That's a great build, rare, really useful. Proves a point that you can do tip based development with Android. But if you're a toolchain engineer and you're interested in seeing how your toolchain changes affect you know your tool chain baseline then you want to do an apples to apples comparison so you want to build that where everything else in android is standard android but the tool chain is different the tool chain is your tool chain and ditto for the kernel you want a android where you have the android kernel or you have the android tool chain maybe tip Android again, but you want to fix the kernel. You want to make some kernel change. So the Lenaro engineering builds are, are, are an effort to get, to get back into that more directed uh, platform, uh, delivering more directed platforms. Zach, can you tell me a little bit about the MUX SD stuff? Yeah, so we've got all these single board computers, uh, the low cost platforms that are members create to enable community development on their uh, silicon. And most of these have SD card slots that you can program up with Android or Ubuntu or whatever you want and, uh, and boot from. And that's good, you know, it's, it's a good, SD cards are a good way to, to update a platform. But when you're developing, sometimes you have a couple of options. You know, sometimes you want to go fast, right? You want to compile a kernel, load it up. Compile a platform, load it up. And there's a few different ways you can do that. You can use NFS mounting to actually pull a kernel. You can use ADB push to push updated platform files. But sometimes it just is easier to take this SD card out, put it in an SD programmer, reprogram it, and push it back in. So. We said, well, why not automate this process? I mean, it's just, it's just, you know, we can build a little board that is essentially just an analog switch. And what it allows you to do is essentially automate pulling the SD card mux out, or pulling the SD card out, and then inserting it into the laptop or whatever it is. And it's just a little analog switch. And what ha happens is when the computer is on, the SD MUX is in computer mode. And the computer can talk to the SD MUX. Oh, I'm sorry, when the target's off. When the target is off, the computer talks to the, S uh, the SD card. When you turn the target on, it automatically switches over and boots from the SD card. And David Anders and his Tin Can Tools team actually made these. You can actually get them uh, today. And they're great little tools. Um, Andy Green took this concept and kind of created a more fully functional version of this 
uh, that contains a lot of different ports and ability to test uh, test audio and and that's and and that uh, getting that in into the pipe and getting that built uh, is is an awesome thing um, for people that just want a real basic you know a basic little tool it just does one thing these SD muxes are 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 pretty useful um, and. We're actually, David's actually in the process of revving this SD mux so that uh, there's a, a slight power problem that you actually need a programming fix for, but that problem will be uh, no longer an issue on the new version. I, I just know that it generated a lot of comments and a lot of like interest a, a, around the ability to do this. So that, that's another good thing that you guys have been up to since we were last in, yeah. in Hong Kong. We've also had Kareem Yagmore here doing embedded Linux training workshops. Embedded Android. Oh, I'm sorry, what did I say, training Linux? Embed you can tell jet lag is catching up with all of us today, <laughs> I think. So, I'm sorry, the embedded um, Android training. How's that been received? How's, he, how's that for you all as a team? And I know you personally, and I am too, because Kareem's this great guy, um, he's, we're all excited to have him here, but what have you seen come out of that? What's been the hallway track after these? Uh, yeah, so... Kareem's, you know, Kareem's really been a leader in in the dissemination of information, <laughs> in writing stuff down and writing stuff down in a way that it's accessible and that engineers for the last ten years have been able to take advantage of with his embedded Linux book. So he's recently come out with this embedded Android book. And the embedded Android book kind of picks up where the embedded Linux book uh, leaves off, in essence, and documents embedded Android. And, you know, I suspect that that book will be on every engineer's desk for the next 10 years um, because it's, very, it's a very, very useful book. So we, I felt like, well, you know, Kareem's doing all this great stuff. There's going to be all these people who are working on Android here. So why not have them come out and... Uh, you know, tell people, give people an overview, give people a class, and then, you know, after the session's done, after the class is done, you know, really be able to sit down and work in the hacking rooms and, and help people kind of one-on-one. -on -one. And I thought, well, you know, a lot, I, think, I know Kareem does a lot of, you know, classes where he goes on site and gives, and gives classes, and so to have him be able to come here and actually give those classes to a broader a range of people who might might not actually have the opportunity to to have them directly is is a great thing it's just exciting that we have these opportunities to see him present um, over a hangout at, you know in Copenhagen you know he actually presented via hangouts on air to have him actually here at, in Hong Kong is is great and uh, again another value add that the Android team just added to our Lenaro <laughs> connect events <laughs> You know, it, it's really exciting to see, you know, more community get involved. I mean, our members are awesome, our partners are awesome, but now we're, we're people in the communities, whether it's the Android community or other, you know, open source communities, are starting to go, hmm, what are they doing over there? And I want to be part of that. Yeah. And you guys are driving a lot of that. Where do you, or where would you like to see more community involvement with your team at? Yeah, so a lot of the Android community is in the a lot of the android community is consists of modders right people who used to and still do build their own pcs really want to hack their systems at a, at a high level you know maybe i replace this file maybe i insert this file into my init or insert this line into my init script so you see uh, xda on xda development a lot of these, you know, Android hacks that you can make. And then you see Cyanogen Mod, where Cyanogen Mod is, you know, a, a, an extremely awesome uh, resource and has been for, for years now uh, to make these, these phones that are still awesome and keeping these phones going, keeping these, this hardware going. And I think that our focus, you know, has been on AOSP and will continue to be on AOSP. Our focus is on, you know, tip kernels, tip GCC. And I think that, but I think that making more inroads into Cyanogen, making more inroads into the XDA development community, making 
more inroads into AOSP and these and these communities that are built up around Android, you know, we can be part of that. Because we are all one big community. I mean, it's John Stoltz, who's doing fantastic, phenomenal work, uh, uh, helping to ensure that the the upstream kernel has the kernel, fe you know, the Android kernel features that the the brilliant engineers at the on the Android kernel team have created, um, and helping get those upstream. As he is fond of saying, you know, this is your community, and you know, it's important that we all work together. It's important that we, you know, we take care of what we need to, but we're all, we also are able to rely on each other, so. And I think uh, John Corbett with LWN did a great job of, of promoting we are, we are that community and we're part yeah. of that community. And the theme that, you know, there's always a theme that sort of runs through these things, even if it's not a formal theme that's been announced. And it seems like the theme that is running through this connect is that open collaboration and that it is key to the success of, of what we do and how and our communities and, and how we push that stuff, you know, whether it's upstream or whether it's out to the community, um, it is that open collaboration. I know that that is something that you're passionate about as well. Now, I heard first a rumor and then it was confirmed. Um, Oh, that this is going to be my last interview with you as the Lenaro Android Tech Lead. That you're you're moving on to uh, enjoy the Silicon Valley, <laughs> and not just Silicon. <laughs> so, in your time that you've been with Lenaro and been to many of these connects, what has what what really stands out and goes, yeah, we did that. Well, it's it's interesting. They say that. Um, when you think about change and you think back and you, exp you ex when you experience time passing that the more events, the more different things that, is, that are involved, that you're involved with, the, the, the more different your days are from day to day will make it seem like time is, has slowed down. So it can make a, a year feel like 10 years. And what's been interesting to me is, you know, I've been with Lenaro just shy of two years. And when I, f my first day, I get, got up and, and had to give a speech in Budapest. And I said, I said, we've got a big problem. Um, but it's just like eating a whale. How do you eat a whale? Bite, bite, bite. And I always kept that in mind over the last two years that you know, there wasn't going to be a big win. There wasn't going to be a big, you know, huge thing that we could do to make things better. It was just going to be small, frequent, and consistent progress. And if we could do that and keep that going in the face of everything that we've, we've experienced, that we would ultimately be successful. And, and by being successful, I mean we would be able to have our part in promoting the Android community. So, you know, here at Lenaro Connects, you know, we're all, everybody uses our stuff because we're producing the platform. So we kind of expect people to use our stuff. And, but at a recent Android Builder Summit, Lenaro's Android stuff was all over the place. And a lot of the things that we've spent a lot of time doing Keeping the platform up to date, keeping good gets, making sure the platform boots, making sure the platform builds, is tested. People are using that stuff. They've come to rely on that. They've come to rely on it so much that our gets are actually one of the most preferred places to come and get Android. Because people know that it's gonna work. And I take a lot of pride in that. So do you feel like you've got the whale eaten or you're only halfway <laughs> through? Well, you know, uh, I, think, I think we're well on our way. And I, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing how Lenaro and how the Android team uh, seeing it thrive. Because um, I know it will. I know that, you know, there's nothing special about me. Except I, I file good agendas. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think so, anyway. And uh, but uh, 
but I think that, you know, it's really the team, right? It's not about me. It's about Vishal. It's about Vero. It's about Amit Kundir. It's about Axel. It's about Yonkin. Those are the guys, you know, those are the guys that have really dedicated themselves to such an extent to, to make this happen for people. And I have to tell you, the, the Android team is probably, um, you know, whether it was through your, your leadership as a tech leader, it's just the personalities on your team, probably one of the most approachable teams at Lenaro. And not just approachable from the internal standpoint, but the external standpoint. I can't tell you, people have said, oh, go jump in this channel and ask your question. And somebody responds around the clock. And it is such a great example of how we're involved with the community, how we support the communities. Um, um, you know, in the bigger picture, and and thank you for thank you and your team for for doing that and being that good example. Now, is there anything that I haven't asked you about? There's so many moving pieces and parts to this connect, and there's so many things that your team is doing and working on. Um, is there anything that I haven't asked you about that you want to tell people about? Well, um, I guess just stay tuned, and. Uh, I think that you know the next two years you're going to see you're going to see some pretty cool things, and I, I think you're going to see uh, some some things come to fruition that we've been working on for a long time. I, I hope that the upstream Linux kernel will boot a production Android device. Um, I know it will. I hope that our single Z image comes to fruition, and that we'll be booting a single kernel on different Android devices. I, it's something we've got to get to, and I think it'll happen on mobile first. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, and I'm looking forward to eight core phones and tablets, 16 core. I'm looking to have, you know, coherency problems on a tablet, you know? I mean, just, there's so much to do. There, there's, it's such a big area. And I'm just, I just can't wait to see where Lenaro goes with it. Well, Zach, thank you so much for taking time out of your hacking session to come <laughs> by and, and hang out with me a little bit. You, your presence will be missed if, if I mean, you have such a, a big personality and it, it's going to be missed at these events. We hope that you'll be able to come back from time to time and pop in and check us, keep us honest and see what we're doing. <laughs> Um, well, that's the nice thing about being an open organization. I can pop on IRC and pop in on the Android uh, Hangouts and, and all these meetings. And, and I would, you know, I always encourage other people, you know. Um, and I think coming in as, a, as somebody from the outside in, it's going to be a good experience because I'll be able to actually see things from a community member standpoint. Well, again, thank you so much and uh, look forward to seeing you out in the community. Thank you, Amber.